Vagabond is a Skyrim Anniversary Edition mod list that has over 4,000 mods and takes up 500 gigabytes of space for the install alone. As long as you have Nexus Premium, this mod list will automatically install for you with the Wabajack tool. With 3,404 active plugins, 224 ESP slash ESMs, and overhauls to every aspect of the game, let's take a quick look into what this mod list has to offer. So if you're having issues with some of the downloads, make sure to check out the README because there might be, depending on your region or your internet speed, some commonly failing downloads, which you'll just have to manually download and plop into the download folder. The README also has tips for installing DLSS, changing your resolution, and rebinding certain hotkeys. So here we are in game. We have the Skyrim Unbound alternate start mod. And I do like this mod because it lets you configure your MCM settings however you want before you get started in the game. The main ones to keep in mind are true directional movement for your target lock hotkey, as well as one click power tech. This mod list is very controller friendly, so if you do have a controller, you'll be pleasantly surprised. But if you're on mouse and keyboard like me, you might have to ingest certain keybinds that might feel a little bit awkward for you. So you will have some additional options for Argonians. You'll actually have a lot of options for the Khajiit. The Khajiits do have uh, lion manes, as we can see here. And you do also have the Beards of Power mod. Tons of different hairstyles to choose from, especially for females. And some of these do have hair physics, such as the AS Hairdo's SMP. I'm going to get going with just my preset here. And one thing to note about Skyrim Unbound is it does change the way the main quest starts. So in this mod list, by default, the dragons will be level locked. You can change that to be uh, locked based on time that passes by. And once you kill your first dragon, then you can start the main storyline. Here we get a starting deity. I'll choose RK. That's from the Winter Sun Fates mod. And now keep in mind that this mod list does require a beast of a rig to run smoothly. I'm on 1080p. Normally I game in 1440p, but I'm on 1080p with DLSS in order to uh, get it to run at least at a playable level. So NPCs are all going to be overhauled. Everything, all right. Everything from their appearance to the armor that they're wearing. There is an O body in this mod list, so if you don't like your body or the body of an NPC, you can get it changed. Alver, what are you doing down there, Alver? That's not safe. Alver, please. Alver, please, I'll save you. Alver, get out of there. Look, you can climb out like this, Alver. So it does have the sky climb mod, which is awesome to see. The other cool thing is that NPCs will often wear armor that's based on their race. And Bosmer have horns, too. But you have stuff like Moon Monk robes on Kaji or Red Guard Assassin armor on Red Guards. This little bridge here in Riverwood is looking pretty gorgeous. Now, combat is going to be your meat and potatoes of this mod list. You have Precision, Scar, Poise, MCO, Elden Parry, as well as some custom block perks, which we'll check out in a second, and the Ashes of War. Let's go ahead and get one of those equipped. Also, look at these animated icons. I, I love to see these. I, I wish these were in every single mod list. Of course, we can't have that, but I do love to see it. Die, bunny! You got away this time. Next time, you might not be so lucky. Like these wolves here. All right, let's do an Ash of War on this wolf. Yeah, just like that. Not overkill at all. Now the perk trees, this is going to be a Vokrenator Black. So you have tons of different perk trees to choose from. No shortage at all. And like I said, there is a custom block tree. So as you can see here, unlocks a time block, which allows uh, you to negate all damage. And there are some Elden Ring inspired... Uh, <clears throat> and there are some Elden Ring inspired perks as well. Gain armor bonuses, time blocks, restored stamina, Elden Counter, and a lot of other really unique stuff to this list. White Run is very forested, though. You do have some additions to the outskirts. You can go ahead also with a Sky Shard. 
Like I said, guys, I apologize for any stuttering. My rig, honestly, I recommend like a 40, 90, 40, 80, 40, 90 to run this mod list. You can get away with it with some uh, stuttering with a, s a similar rig to mine, but I like how I stuttered as I said stuttering. So stuttering. As you can see, all NPCs are going to be quite overhauled. But a lot of them still look, you know, recognizable. Run you in here looking disgusting and creepy. Very lore friendly, Brenuin. Guard dripped out in high definition armor. And Carlotta's wearing some pretty cool looking clothes. Jiggle effects. Oh my god. Ahlam. Lilith Maidenloom is actually decked out. There's Logan Paul again. Saphir. So here's an example of the level up menu. You get some additional skill points that you can invest into. So we'll go with uh, heavy armor, I guess, and maybe marksman and i guess one-handed and increase our health now this is actually a very difficult mod list uh your health region is basically going to be nothing so you're going to have to rely on either perks or food items the other thing to note is there are a lot of different custom perk trees here so you have uh, Priesthood, you got some Vigilant of uh, Stendar stuff, hand-to-hand. -hand. A lot of these are actually separate from your regular uh, perk tree. So see, we have three different perks here we can invest into uh, Unarmed. Make us a little bit deadlier in our fights. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. Some people might be a little bit overwhelmed by this, but I think it's actually cool that it gives you so many different options. We'll do Warrior, get some more health. We will need it. Now, I am actually on novice difficulty, and I swear, guys, even on novice, I uh, get my butt whooped by a lot of things that I'm trying to fight. Also, I uh, swapped over to the Rudy ENB just for comparison. Uh, for those of you that prefer Rudy over Amon, and we are in Winterhold which uh, has been expanded greatly. So cities are, let's jump up here. <laughs> I love sky climb. Uh, cities are gonna be expanded with spaghetti cities as well as a bunch of other city mods, like the great city mod, cities of the north, as well as Rins mods. Morthal is probably my favorite city in this list. It really looks like a proper swamp uh, you have all these little boats around here. Everything is uh, underwater. It just looks so cool. It, it's kind of like a Venice type feel, but uh, really bleak, cold. It's like Venice with snow, IGN. Hi. And the coolest thing is a lot of the interiors will also uh, reflect what the uh, outside of the houses look like. Kind of saw it with that hut in there. Try to go into something. For example, here we are in the Moorside Inn. And the interior matches the exterior. A new face. Such a welcome sight in dreary old Morthal. Dawnstar looks like more than just two houses. The other thing is Dawnstar looks very different in the summer, but I'll let you guys explore that for yourself. I don't want to spoil anything. But it does look very cold and desolate. You see some nice little expansions to the sides there. Although 
You look like, I mean, I understand that you're close to the smelter, but I think you should still put on some clothes. You're going to get sick. We're in Falkreath, but I wanted to show you guys some of the nighttime lighting. It looks really nice with all these little additional lights everywhere. Look at that. Now it's morning time over in Falkreath. A hearty welcome to Falkreath. All of Skyrim's cool stars. Falkreath's warriors always return, one way or another. As you can see, Falkreath uh, kind of has that cemetery vibe going on all throughout town. The map is really gorgeous too. Very detailed looking. Look at that. It's a very nice looking paper map. All right, guys, as fun as it is to run around cities, I think we need to get into some more combat. So I already mentioned some of the core gameplay stuff, like the fact that it has Vokrenator Black, um, Mysticism for Magic, and you have uh, Dureni spells. So as you can see, we start out with a bunch of them. Necrotic Flames, things like that. Stone Spray, let's, let's shoot stones at somebody. What can we shoot stones at? I just heard something grunting over here. I have a feeling there's going to be something in here. Road sign ruins. There's always something in the ruins. Yeah, eat my rocks. Bonnie, my pebbles. Oh God, that bear. That bear just jumped through. Unbound fire. Suck on that. It's not very effective. But... Ow. See what I mean? I, I, I already got bone break fever. Like I said, I'm on novice difficulty just getting my ass handed to me by a, a bear, a wolf, and a cackling old lady. Yeah. <laughs> and then you wonder... And then you wonder why I put myself on testing purposes mode during these videos. Alright, we can kill her. Now keep in mind, you will get stronger. So early on, you're gonna suck. You're gonna be absolutely horrible. And barely be able to kill anything. Once you level up a little bit, things should get easier. Ideally. So here, we're gonna level two-handed. Now we're ready to dominate! Perfect block. Is she dead? She is dead! That is disgusting. All right, bear, your time is up. All right, we might have bone break fever, but we just whoop their ass. I I don't care if it's on novice difficulty. I am a novice. Let's kill that dog too. There we go. Didn't even break. Uh, there's another one. Why are there so many wolves? Why are there so many wolves? So this does have know your enemy too. Certain enemies are gonna have resistances. Especially Draugr. Draugr and spiders and undead and stuff like that. Can have very specific resistances. You also have different uh, resistances based on the armor you wear. As you can see, we're wearing metal armor, so we have a weakness to shock. I should mention there's a lot of new creatures that you're going to run into as we saw that disgusting weird little hag raven type thing. Uh, you have a lot of the fourth unknowns mods. Oh, and here's another thing. A Durzog. You have a lot of fourth unknowns mods as well as Mihail's mods. We see goblins and imps everywhere. Ogres, Bogmorts, there's Daedric dragons, deadly dragons, Game of Thrones dragons. Minotaurs. It's a. Uh, if there's a mod list that's most similar 
to Elden Ring, this is probably it. Speaking of Elden Ring, there are a lot of new weapons added. Many of them are Elden Ring weapons. But besides the Elden Ring specific weapons, you have animated armory, immersive weapons, lore weapons expansion. Also regarding armors, there's tons of DX armors. I think all of them, if not all of DX armors, as well as immersive armors, divine wardrobe, and so many others. I mean, I swear, a giant portion of this mod list is just armor and weapon mods. So many NPCs are going to be rocking out. Oh god. I need to heal. I need to heal badly. Let me level up. Bye bye, your poise. Oh, this, he has a better armor than what we got. So we got fur stuff. Keep in mind, you also have um, Skyrim outfit system. So if you find an outfit that you like the appearance of, you can use it and have the stats of any other armor that you so choose. All right, let's take this guy out. Our stamina is basically nothing. All right, we gotta take these guys out. The animations are very fluid. Orc Marauder stuff. See, we're already getting even better stuff. And I'm dead. Our good thing I saved right here, so we should still be good. Let's try some bow combat, because you do have the overpowered bow, rapid bow combo mod. They can just shoot all the arrows. Suck on this, or this. Or that, or that. I think I might be out of arrows. Let's finish him off with one of these little swords. I do actually have bread, so I'm going to eat a piece of bread and then wait a little bit so our health can regen. The one thing you won't find much of in this list are follower mods. I don't recommend really adding your own unless you know what you're doing. Because even something like a follower mod is going to have potentially a lot of conflicts in a mod list of this scale. If you do know what you're doing, by all means go for it. But you do void any support from the mod list author by... Customizing this list. There are a ton of quest mods as well. Both vanilla quest mods as well as uh, brand new quest mods. 
Oh my god, this guy. This guy is basically an Elden Ring boss, I swear. I'll show you what a real You'll show me what a real orc can do. I mean, they even made him gigantic. Look at that. Gunzel. Some of the vanilla quest mods that you're gonna get are J Serpa's quest expansion mods. Defy the Gardener about Rogvir, which actually uh, keeps Rogvir alive. A lot of the good guy mods, Penitus Oculatus, Brotherhood of the Old, as well as some other vanilla quest expansion mods here and there. Um, new quest that you get though. Oh my god, look at the courier. Well, now I can't save her because of the courier. Oh my god. She's gonna survive because he sucks. He sucks! Man, the guards really aren't doing their job, are they? Well, I guess I'll save her anyway. Man, you suck. Oh my god, I hate the Forgotten City stupid letter reading mod who designed it! I am sick. I'm sick because I got the note. Cassius plea reaches beyond your imagination. Now I'm sick. It disgusts me, Margaret. God. A woman attacked right on the street. I was attacked too. I was attacked by this letter. So anyway, um, new quest mods, such as the Forgotten City. We also have Clockwork, Midwood Isle, Tools of Kagranak, uh, Worm's Tooth, Beyond Reach, Beyond Scambruma, Vigilant, Glen Moral, Unslaught, and everyone's favorite mod, Legacy of the Dragonborn. Talmor, the Talmor are with them too. Oh, look at the little raccoon. And the forests are really nice in this list. They feel very lush. And the fog actually works out in their favor, I feel like. Let's get on over to Ember Shard Mine for some combat. As you can see, you have a... Uh, I believe this is Rins. For the uh, exterior of the mine. That's such a strong Ash of War. What I've noticed is uh, light attacks are very, very light. I mean, they barely do damage. Really, they're meant to uh, pepper your enemies up a little bit. Maybe uh, decrease their uh, their poise. But really, power attacks are going to be your bread and butter. As we saw there, holy crap. Nice little interior lighting, as we can see. And this does have the expanded Ember Shard Mine mod. How's it going, guys? Uh... With MCO, obviously, you do commit to your attacks. Another little level up. What? Stop that. Oh my god, I'm just twirling around like a ballerina. Easily blocked. Get wrecked, noob. Let's take a little rest uh, just to recharge our faculties. Also, if you guys need a recharge in real life, make sure to check out Offline. It's a brand new sleep aid that I've actually been using. It's pretty good. I've been getting a lot better sleep with it. It's a combination of melatonin plus some natural herbs that are supposed to help with uh, insomnia. And sleep is a very important part of both physical and mental wellness. So 
I would personally recommend it. It worked for me. It might work for you. Link is in the description below. And use code BIGGIE for a special discount. Yeah, these NPCs don't even need offline. I'm, I'm, I'm offlining them right now. Oh man, the battle axe is so satisfying, except when it doesn't stop the animation, and it just keeps going forever. All right, we've leveled up quite a bit, so now we should be. Destroying these guys. Guess I'm still in novice difficulty, but let me feel better about myself. Oh my god. Did I mention there's custom death animations? So, overall, who this mod list is for and who it isn't for, well, First and foremost, you need the right specs to run this list. I think I am at the very bare minimum with my solid state drive, my 3080 Ti. So if you have anything lower than my specs, you might have some frame issues. The other thing is this is a uh, mod list that has a lot of things added. If you want a more... Uh, focus list that has less items and this might overwhelm you and this list might not be for you but if you want some of the most next gen mods out there expansions to pretty much everything and just tons of a variety with perks weapons armors animations this mod list is for you so hopefully this video was helpful to you guys let me know if a vagabond worked out for you let me know also if you're running this mod list just fine and what specs you have or if you're having issues running this mod list because that is something i am curious about hello sibyl stendor please don't interrupt the court what a jerk